Hey everybody, welcome back to the fish tank. Let's do some drafting. But before we do that, just a quick uh, mention of today's patch. You may have noticed there was a small patch. Hasn't gone out on Xbox yet, but should be soon. This patch is to hopefully address the mana bar issue. So that's with your mana getting locked up and it's stopping you from playing. Fingers crossed, this is the second um, fix for this. And uh, hopefully it will resolve the problem. We'll give it a go and uh, we'll see how that works out. Okay, so draft, as you will know, or you may not, draft is where you make a deck from random choices. Each option, you get three choices. So you get a choice of three masters. And for each of your 10 cards, you get a choice of three cards. Now you build the deck and you play against other drafters. And the idea is to get as many wins as possible, up to a maximum of 12. Uh, you have three lives. So once you've lost three times, it is over and you claim your prizes right so these are the three masters we've been given remember draft is back to the no faction restrictions so you don't have to uh, build a, a faction based deck now limited to four per master that's gone so that's uh, much better for for how i prefer the game okay so we've got ravager Tronvir or Stormbringer. Um, I feel like I might go Ravager just because I haven't played Ravager in a long time. Right, so we've got Aimbot, we've got Scrat Launcher, and we've got Blind Date. Now, as always, remember when you're being offered cards, most of the cards in the game are going to be ground-based melee minions, so if you get offered other stuff, you might want to consider taking it because the chances of you getting that are less than what you would have in the constructed gameplay and uh, your opponent's chance of having something to deal with it are also less. Now, Aimbot, I do like Aimbot. The fact it comes with a shield I like. Uh, we do obviously want the tech, so we'll, I think we'll go for that and we'll cross our fingers to get some other Outlander cards. But if not, I think we're okay. Okay, Sugalite Shield could be good to help our aimbot trade. Lash of our moon. It's it's a decent removal spell. Sacrifice. We need something small to put on. Um see again, normally you want some removal spells and your chances of getting them are not uh, massively high. So if we get one and choose to not take it, are we gonna regret it? This comes with Slitherbind, so we do want another Slither card. So, let's see if we can figure that out. Right, Wall, Undying Skeleton. We need a tank, I think, of some description here. Hypnotize is very strong at the moment. Looks like it's going to get a 3-4 to four mana nerf in the upcoming patch, or next season's patch. Bounty Sniper. Oh, I do struggle to turn down a Bounty Sniper. I do love it. Um, hypnotize the three mana. It's, it is likely to be good, but again, the bounty sniper is one of those cards that if your opponent doesn't have a great way of removing it, it can be just a match winning card on its own. And in draft, it's more likely to get that opportunity. Let's go with it. Okay. Chain Lightning, very good spell. These minions, I'm not, I don't hate these. I think we're going to go Chain, and then that will be our two spells locked in. Right. So, we were looking for another Slither card for the Lash. Chain Gang gives us our Bridge Grab. Poison is pretty strong at the moment. And you can, if you play them quickly, within three, no, within five seconds, you get the darters, which are the ranged ones, instead of the melee lancers. I think we're going to go with that. Okay, uh, I feel like we're going to have too many spells if we go for any of these, so it's got to be crossbow. Um, thinking about Ravager, we're not really building too much around him specifically. We just need to be aware of our perks, try to make the best of our perk one and perk three. Spell Dancer is very strong right now in the meta. Um, 
she can kind of double as another removal spell. I don't know if we need that though. Um, I feel like we just need we need some bodies. And I think here we're going to go for the horde just to get some units on the field, take both bridges. I don't hate either of these, but I feel like the way our deck's set up at the moment, we need to get some bodies like that. Okay. Um, do we just go Rystar? I haven't actually played him this season, so maybe we'll just try him out. The deck's not super cheap. We're at 4.2 average. That's going to push that up. We have Caliph. Caliph is not going to have the um, Imperial Army buff. Shroom Amashumi. We're not going to have... The only buffs we potentially are going to get are the Haste from Ravager Perk 2. But uh, that's only going to trigger when they're almost dead anyway. I feel like we just have to go for High Marshal Rystar and uh, see how we get on. Okay, there we go. There's our deck. Let's begin. Masters, get ready! Make this entertaining, guys. Okay, teammate, uh, sorry, opponent is Ravager. Uh, as mentioned a million times before, you always get a bot as your first match in draft for whatever reason. We probably want to push with Brystar with our Brutus or Terra Brutus. See if that can work out. Not going to get much tech on the aim, but it will generate tech itself, so eventually we'll have something on it. I guess we just have to hope they don't have a beam with this. So Brystar does do strong DPS, and he has an AoE as well, hitting both things there. Big weakness is is HP. He's still pretty tanky. And remember, we're going to get these Legionnaires shuffled into our deck. He has Legion 3, I think, is it? 3 or 4, maybe 4. So you can see the icons around our master. They are the Centurions that are going to get, or the, uh, the buffs, which uh, buff our Legionnaires. other guy. The, the uh, Centurions are the Legionnaires with Bulwark, which means they take 50% less damage. You can see the little shield icon trigger in there. Now, I just noticed that we don't have the tech indicator to tell us how much tech we should have, which is a bit of a bug, because it should tell us, because we have an aim bar. I feel like that's a known bug. I will mention that to the devs, or just check to see if it's been reported in the Discord. Grenadier might be a pain at the top, but we should be able to whittle it down eventually. We need some losses. Red obtained perk number two. I kind of uh, didn't pay attention to that. I've been playing a lot of Accursed in random, so I think my brain sees those skellies and thinks they're mine. I would love to see these little Undying Corpses have a much different colour. So you can tell whose is whose, because they are really difficult to tell apart. Okay, let's push at the top. Okay, the, the deck doesn't feel terrible. We'll see how it is when we get a real person. Master. 
master the minions and minions of masters. Okay, should be to duel. against a real life duel. human. Right, Aper. See how he does, what he got. got. A little time to start spawning some people into it. It's kind of annoying because that bounty sniper is basically just going to farm on everything. Could have waited a little bit and then maybe really yeah, angled on the bounty sniper. Bird. Okay. Shut that guy down. It's, it's going to be too valuable otherwise. Strong cards. Blue unlocks the first perk. Maybe it's a big removal spell. Mm, maybe should have done. He's got some meta cards, isn't he? We'll try and keep our sniper alive here if we can. Looks like we will. Red of day, Merc two. Try and swamp this chap. Remember, the bounty sniper gets a shield if you're behind on XP. He's ahead, so he doesn't. Good value from our crossbow guild. Skelly spawning here. Got kind of lucky they landed on the skeleton there, else we would have been easy to shut that down. Remember, health's a resource. Okay, nice. Got some good value from my star there. Bounty Sniper's gonna get a few kills here. We can't kill him with our chain because of the shield on him. Oh, we got poison. Are we gonna shut it down? Yep, there we go. Up I don't think he has a big removal spell, does he? So, I think we can get a good push going here. Well, I still might be a little bit forwardy. We don't want him to tank. Should be a good push, though. The fans are out of their seats, on their feet. Everyone's going crazy. Who's gonna become the victor? Go. Just ravage your things. Feels like a good deck. Masters of minions and minions of masters. Okay, born anew. To duel. Experienced player. Duel. The owner. The traps in mind. Okay, he went for a future, so mm, got lightning bolts, kind of annoying. Uh, 
don't know if this guy survives this. I don't think he does. It's going to be an... Oh, if he kills both of them, it's going to be really bad. Okay, one of them survives. Red unlocked their first perk. Hmm. <laughs> We really want to keep our bounty sniper alive here if we can. That little skelly guy in the bomb is a bit of a chad. What I remember about his lightning bolt. is kind of awkward because we have to play something Blue just got the second perk. but like I'd rather lose that than my bounty sniper so <laughs> what we do bounty sniper is going to have a bad time against his traps for sure Red obtained his next trap two. should be a cross bridge Ravager has the range to get these. Hmm. That lightning bolt is proving to be a real pain in the arse. I don't think I could do anything here. Like, this is just going to get bolted. should have his bolt ready to go. He's gonna want to bolt this, so we need to make sure that he's not the only thing alive. Once our cycle got a little bit quicker, we didn't have to fear the lightning bolt quite so much. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen! future. This is a cough. <coughs> Sorry. Minion Masters. Oh. Masters get Not a fan away. of my skin. I guess that's the last one I had set up. Okay, Morelia. Let's see how we do you. He's going to put a lot of mana into this. Don't want to lose our shield. Oh god. 
okay, he's about to spawn. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Well, two lightning bolts already is kind of annoying. A jungle jumble. This might be a mistake. I think feel like we can efficiently support this, so let's get what we can out of it. We want that monkey to heal. Okay, again, remember the lightning bolt, let's hope we don't get punished too much. Ravage of very short range, as you can see here. Kill this. Blue just got the second perk. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. Ooh. okay we got him poisoned, so we can't re-stealth. That's something. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. Good job. Okay, this is where our shield will help us a lot. This guy lightning. And the kill count just spiked. The air really kind of screwed him a bit there, but XP's good. Hopefully the crossbow dude gets on him. Yeah, keep shooting, keep shooting. Okay. in there. That tower looks pretty roughed up. Got a massive XP lead. He's got his dragon coming soon. We do anything worthwhile there. This might be a mistake with the lightning bolt. Red gained perk three. Yep, okay. He went for it. Got to drop the cap of that. Don't want to put this down because he's got his perk three breath coming in a second. as he gets back three, so we should be fine.
Once his dragon's dead, so is he. Right, three matches, two lightning bolts. Whew. We bring the average down. That's fingers crossed and hoped. Masters, get ready. Right, Valorian. Give me those viewers, fighters. Let's go. Here we need to get rid of Grenadier at the back. Uh oh, uh oh. I mean, at least they kind of. Red has some attention away. Oh, they, they Grenadier got way too much value. Blue unlocks the first perk. The hey, aimbot should push the top line. I started not trading particularly well here. The free Legionnaires from Bright Star helping out a lot there. I need to keep our Audi Sniper alive if we can, because the air units are going to be a problem at points. Just chained it for a bit cheaper. I also didn't have my slithers in my hands, so we miss out on that. Slithers, unfortunately. Mm, he misplayed that a little bit. Didn't really hit what he wants to hit. Should have burnt some honor probably there I'm so early. Owie. Save our bounty sniper with a little bit of luck. We got it. Okay, that could be big. Okay. Trying to 
position him so he hits as much as possible. And take the bullet away. Something invisible at the top. I'm not going to worry about that currently too much. Do have a Centurion here to help? Hey, okay, Rystar's still alive. If you keep him alive, he's going to do a lot of DPS. You can see in that last match, Rystar doesn't trade well into heavy melee. The Azali. Red corner, are you ready? Blue corner. Hey, Mikey, are you playing ready? another Ravager. Let the fun begin. Standard Ravager skin, maybe a newer player. Not sure. Let's find out. be a big difference in these matches whether the your perk one and perk three go on the same lane as the other ravager or not Sometimes it helps if you get your perk second as well, because you can end up defending, which allows you to bank up mana, got the master defense to help you, and then you can do a big push. Scene. Okay, unfortunately these guys are gonna split. Worst thing. Who do we support? I don't want to waste this unless we have it. So if he spawns something else, maybe. If not, we'll just... Bounce here is definitely a thing. Bounce go over to the Ravager and screwed us. Okay. There, we see we got our perk one second. But... Leveled up on XP and did a huge amount of space damage. I put that a little bit further away from the, um, the tower so the bounce doesn't hit that. Two, oh my god, he had two healers. Now he has none. Okay. With that last hit, the tower he should have known. That's what my play was going to be, right? Did exactly that in the last one. He plays both of them. They're probably both going to get exploded. This comes from experience, though, paying attention to the battlefield what your opponent has, what you have. I'm going to drop the GG. Looks like the Battle Monkey might clear it up. But... We have a winner! Not enough! Give me more. His first push did nothing, ours was beast mode. Who's on two wins, so start of his run? Good luck to him. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting right, didn't we play this person a little earlier? Masters. They were not playing Tromvir, though. Sure, we haven't played Tromvir. Okay. So, we need to try to pay attention to his runes and the order of them, so we know 
pretty much. We really want to know when his um, wind rune is coming. Really. Gonna be rough to push into. Johnny else is there as well. We don't have anything at that bottom bridge, but it's okay. We'll get a Bruder soon. See where he's going to go. Blue has unlocked their first Up the top, of course. Would like you if you could choose. We really want to kill this. Fingers crossed. I mean, I don't hate that. It was probably almost dead anyway. Weighted with the chain there we get more value now. Always start at the top or the bottom so it goes across rather than spikes one way and then the other. Okay, we can't effectively support this, so we just let it phase out. We will go again. I kind of forgot about that auto playing to be honest. Red got the second burn. Okay. This could be annoying because it's going to lock him up and then probably bug him out. I wish they would just disable that card for now. Or, you know, fix it. Blue obtained perk too. Want to hit multiple things with this if we can. Wait, why is that not attacking it? Um, what is going on there? Uh, I'm pretty annoyed with that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I have to look at that back and see what the hell is that. Let's see if it targets correctly this time. Yeah. It looked like it was. It just hit my target choice, unfortunately. Also hits the bounty sniper. Why wouldn't it? It's just a wind walker, so we don't need to be scared of it. Like it would be if it was a. Okay, that going going at the top there might actually be helpful. Untamer being a real pain. Cycle's getting quicker. People on ladder are, oh he didn't disable him there. People on ladder are definitely using the storm tamer fully. That to tower starting to crumble on the bug red out side. your big units. We 
have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. I'll check the replay after if I remember to see why that um, lash didn't attack. Right, remember, Blurry Dream, Tron Beer. First, we well, got one win against the bots. Thanks for tuning into the Caesar Network, sponsored in part by Bram Flakes. Masters, get dueling! Right, here we go. Morelia. And we need to watch out for these ranged units. I think we'll just tank this on face. Otherwise we'll probably lose both of them and have no bridge grab. Red has obtained the first perk. I don't know if there was a way that I could have got everything. Oh, we might. We might. Oh, we'll take it. Okay. Take it back. Fully planned. Just remember, she does damage as she attacks. We want to wait until she gets about 100 damage and then kill her because she'll pop and there won't be anything around her. Trigger. Hello? Die very quickly, does she? No. Um. Oof. And he's like, he's gonna farm a little bit here. Oh, I messed that up. I tried to click, but I clicked too far down, and then it didn't register. It was my fault, but possibly mistake. Also, resource. We're going to use some more of it here. Looking good. Blue may need to rethink their strategy. Then the push at the bottom is going to be a little bit scary to deal with. Too much at the bottom there. Let's see. Blue Golem looks scary. Hey, Legion, let's go at the top. Give us a bit. Bottom's gonna be a problem though, I don't know what we do at the bottom, I don't really have anything at the bottom, I think the bottom just kills us! Six, 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 six. I am eternal. Get ready! Let's get freaky!
Right, Tronvir. I was worried that that was the Veil Stalker. Range Ravager? She does. Has obtained their first perk. And it hit. Blue has unlocked their first perk. Okay. Okay. I was worried if I used the skeleton, she would jump back and then just destroy it because she's not really going to be able to support this push too much. Okay, they're fake. So I'm worried. We hit everything, good. Okay, we'll take that as a big XP lead. Blue got the guys will do a lot of damage, so we need to watch out for those. So, we're saving our chain for that. That alone. Get some poison on this chat so he can't eat beers. Good. It just dies for nothing. Is that his wind rune? That's his wind rune, and he, he missed everything. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of this, but I'm going to kill this quickly. We deal with this. Are okay, we going to get an extra body there? going to be annoying to deal with because they're just going to jump away. We have a little bit of range. Chain really, that chain really helped. I don't hate it. Blue gained one, two, perk three. Right. Here we go. In not sure about that. Annoying right freezes like that. That was the pay. Red gained the third perk. Maybe the air units are kind of killing us a little bit. Red's been putting up a fight, but I don't think it'll be enough. They are aimbot. Oh, yes, here if we keep it alive. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's gonna. Oh! Okay, he's got a rammer soon, so we don't really want to put that down. We might have to use that to. Face. A little bit disgusting. But I'm sure the structure of that tower is starting sure to crumble a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. We're still alive. <laughs> Explode. Does very little face damage, so I don't think quite oh, this issue can. Oh, 
Come on. Yeah, let's go. Got him. We have a winner. More. Give me more. A little scary. Minion Masters! Let's get this duel started! Let the fun begin! Right. Milloween. Okay, that's a little bit scary. As long as he doesn't have spells to support, then we'll be okay. Oh, mm. watch out for the armor of light. Okay, good. Didn't kill any. Mm. No, we trade badly. Okay, so we take some damage. But it's not. Blue was a locks their first perk. Okay, that's just bad. <laughs> Might be another play. Saving our mana so we can react with a spell. We need to. Oh my goodness, he's getting hit by the AoE next to Rystar. Red's been putting up a fight, but is I don't think it'll be enough. We have a winner. Bits and pieces. This is Minion Master! Right, user 290475. Did you know you can change your name now? Go to the settings in Minion Masters and hit the change name button. Might be called rename. Unsure. Okay, so. I don't know if we can split those. I've never tried. I think there is a way. I don't think I possess the ability. So he got that out of a walking blind date. That's a three mana plus three um, mana freeze. It should now correctly get mana freeze. So it's I don't know why I didn't play this guy right in the pocket. Maybe he needs to be a little bit further forward. Hopefully he doesn't aggro. We're okay. Relax. Blue unlocked the burst perk. It's a bit risky because we commit all our mana, we don't have any instant spell removal. Need to work it's out though. And it's not good. get somebody on top of this to save the sniper if we can. Oh yes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh nearly. I'll take it. Hold a bomb to kill a sniper if nothing else. Oh, 
Could have played Rice Star. Had a uh, big gap on the goal. Always health is a resource, we don't need to worry about this guy. Attacking our face for a little bit. How many snipers still alive? Chain would have saved the bounty sniper, but it wouldn't have killed it. Blue gained the third perk. Okay, here we go. Place one big unit next to another big unit and probably win the video game. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, ten wins. Welcome back to another exciting round of Minion Masters. Sasonic. Those viewers, masters, get dueling. R three KT. Wrecked. Jungle jumble. Jumble. Maybe go down to one mana in the next patch. I don't know why I put that in the middle there. They're not going to split. I think right. they're always going to go one way. Who knows? Picked our tower, I guess. Let's watch out for her and her big attack. Doesn't matter on the little guys, of course. I don't want to lose the aimbot here. Really don't want to lose the aimbot here. Okay, aimbot's alive. Perk one popped out. Mr. Brutus. Welcome to the fray. Okay, the aimbot just surviving. Cleared that up nicely. Blue Golem, it's going to be a problem. Should be able to stack a lot of poison on. Hopefully, just keep pissing down pretty quickly. Just gotta watch out for his jump, he might try and jump and try to kill something in the pocket. Blue just got the second perk. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping that would work out better. It didn't. We'll deal with it. Okay, Rystar will be good here, but that bloody freeze is going to be a pain. We also need to be careful, because if we put the Skeleton Horde down, he can jump and just kill them all in that a second. Tower is now looking good. Off that helps. Ravage's short range is really causing us problems. Uh, 
making it's difficult to support the top and the bottom somehow. You can. Red Earth perk number three. GG. Ten wins, two losses, last life. Masters, get ready. Right, another AP. It's on. I don't know if I should be playing Bright Star more. No, I just I kind of just play him when there's a bit of a lull. Maybe we should just with him and see how we go. What's the worst that could happen? Might have a Shen at the top. Gotta wait here so we can Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? trigger these ranged ones as well. I wanted to split them, but they're kind of going to the problem. Part. Okay, Rise Dog gets kind of shredded there. These are melee minions, so Ravager will clear them up. Unless that happens, and then they'll aggro on the Brutus, and it'll be a real pain. Ravager things. Right, Spirit coming from the top for him. I know he's going to probably drop it on something he doesn't want. Okay, that focus is definitely going to be rough to deal with. Not entirely sure what we do, to be honest. Just have to let Ravager DPS him down. At least Ravager's DPS is not too terrible. Blues obtained perk number two. A little bit problematic. Two. This is he got. Yes. I'm sure the structure of that tower is starting to crumble a little bit. Blue's gonna have to go all out on this. I'll be tanking too much on our face here. Use lash very much. Maybe I suck at it. The minions don't aggro on it, so why well, the placement's a little tricky. I'll just melt there. Yeah, this is... GG! Defeated. Okay, real time. One hour and 13 minutes. Spark Watcher is always very strong in draft, and he had two of them. King would have lost even if he only had one of them. The Fergus as well was difficult for us to deal with. Okay, G to the G. Here we go. Play more goodies, see what we get. You 
821 gold. We get a Kaber Tosser. We've already maxed out, so we get shards refunded. Season pass XP. And that is it. Right. Thanks for joining me. I'm Bad as Fish. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.